Hey guys, Mad Dog EDC coming at you here on this super bright Sunday. What we're going to do here this morning is I've got my Gerber Strong Arm BDZ1 and this new one we just got and it's a Leop Leopsido, Leopsido whatever tactical knives with sheath. Now, when I pulled this out of the Amazon bag, it, it you know, the, already the box is busted up. It was already open. Now, I haven't opened this box. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for it to get my first impressions on camera. Y'all already know how I feel about the Gerber Strong Arm. And of course, this is just, this is the ultimate Gerber Strong Arm. So this is why we're using this one on our video today. This is the Gerber BDZ-1. Extremely rare to find one of these. Um, most of the time they go anywhere from $750 and I've seen them go as high as uh, $2,000 on eBay. So <clears throat> extremely rare to find one of these, extremely rare to get one of these. So because we're comparing this Gerber strong arm knockoff, um, I figured it only made sense to do it with the best, to compare it to the best. Now I've got it situated around here so we can see it on the uh, table. Let's go ahead and pull it out of the box. Already looking at this, it's uh, a little lighter, a little bit lighter. Yeah, the, the, the blade is definitely lighter. It's still kind of the glass filled nylon type she uh, handle. Um, this is this one's more of a, a almost like a more rubberized, whereas this is actually hard plastic. It's got some weird harder plastic in the center of it. This is an absolutely horrible spot for that because if this is on your hip that's just jabbing into your ribs right there. Um, so the knife is just light as can be. I'd say it's probably about half the weight, actually. To tell you the truth, I'd say it's about half the weight. This is just super light feeling. They say that it's full tang. Guys, I don't know if they can make this happen on camera or not, but I am bending this blade. Literally, I am bending this blade. It's got a curve in the blade. The blade itself is actually sharp. The blade itself is shaving, not very well, not very cleanly, but shaving nonetheless. So, but it's, I can't get it over how light that is. That glass breaker drives me nuts. Anyway. Um, yeah, just super, super flimsy. Does it fit in the Gerber sheath? No. It does not. Does not go into the Gerber sheath. Even though they are almost the same. Just slightly, slightly shorter on the Leo, Leopsido, Leopsido, whatever. We'll just call it the Leo. Um, it's slightly shorter. You can kind of see there. It is. It's a little fatter uh, across the across this part here. So that's one reason why it's not going down in there. Let's see. Does the strong arm go? Strong arm goes in there, but it doesn't lock down. You don't know how the strong arm sheath is. You've got your dangler here. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I prefer to go with something different other than that because I just, I can't stand that. And I don't have the little piece in here where you can mount that um, onto your belt, uh, you know, like a scout carry or put it on a molly or something. I don't have that on there right now because I don't ever use the stock sheaths even though, even though they're great, I don't ever use them anymore. This... 
Okay. This has got plastic rivets in it to hold it together. This one kind of has the same thing, if you will. It doesn't have the attachment on the back, and it's just got this almost cheap Mora knife kind of plastic case to it. You know what I'm talking about, how they got that cheaper just plastic belt sheath over. Oh, look, you even got the larger slot, like you're going to hang it on a wall on a nail or something. Um, just extremely cheap flimsy plastic uh, I believe I saw this is CR 13 MOV stainless steel uh, the profile of the knife is about the same uh, the grind is a little off and different and looks like you got some type of little choil right here whereas you don't have that on the strong arm of course you notice that there's one thing on this knife that there is not on the strong arm that uh, is by choice for me. Obviously, you can get the strong arm with the serrations, but uh, don't ruin your blade. Don't buy serrations. Buy a plain edge and learn how to sharpen it. Overall, you got about half the weight. You got a blade that, actually, it's not even a blade that bends. The bending is happening in here. So I'm having a hard time believing that this is actually a full tank knife, even though it says it is. Um, yeah. I'm going to take it to work. I'm going to use it for a little bit, day or two, something like that. I'm going to use it. I'm going to beat it up just like I do this one here. Just Well, not this one, but just like I do my other strong arms. Um, I'm going to see if it will actually go in my custom strong arm sheaths. I know it doesn't fit in this here. I just broke my strong arm sheath just like that. <clears throat> That's one reason why I don't use the standard sheath. They're great, but I'd rather have uh, Kydex over this type of injection molded plastic. So, probably do the same thing to this one here if I squeezed on it and pushed hard, it, hard enough. So, let's see if it'll go in my custom Gerber sheaths. We'll go from there and uh, see what happens. But that is our review, our first impressions of the Leopsido Tactical Knife. Gerber strong arm knockoff. It's nineteen dollars, y'all. Nineteen dollars and fifty something cents. I wouldn't recommend it. I would not recommend it at all. Um, it's cheap. It's lightweight. I don't think it'll hold up to a quarter of what I put these knives through. Um, and I put these things through a lot. I do ridiculous. I've, I've tried to break strong arms. And you're just not going to do it. So, there we go. We'll see how it goes. That's all I got.